So what do I do with these two sheep here? Remember who these two sheep were? Dolly. 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 What was the problem with Dolly? Well, she was cloned. She was cloned. And what did it, what, <coughs> what, what's the issue with that? It was highly controversial, right? There was a lot of people who said, cloning, let's not go down that route. Cloning, that's not what we should do. And yet, we are able, we, we can do it, and there may be some advantages for it. So, with this one, there's a lot of part of, soci well, part of society says, no, 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 we don't want cloning. And there's another part of society that says, yes, uh, we should do this. There's opportunities, there's maybe opportunities to feed the world, <coughs> name it. And there's a group of people that simply just doesn't know. And that's the issue with legitimacy. There is no law that says uh, this is legitimate or this is not legitimate. Then we're talking about legality. And we're not talking about legality here, we're talking about our opinions, our ideas of what's right and what's not right. And how that works out in society, how we can actually identify groups of people who agree or disagree. And then what do we do with it? How would you act on it? And because as I said, me as an academic, I have to legitimize <coughs> myself. But at the, mo at, at the same time, I also legitimize the things that I see. I need to have an opinion about, uh, is it legitimate uh, to drive here by car? Or should I drive by bicycle uh, to protect the environment or, or, or to improve my health and be less of a burden on the NHS? So I need to, to look at my decisions, I need to look at my actions, and I need to evaluate them. So let's look at that, because it's an interesting topic. Let's, uh, I'm in the end, I'm an academic. Let's, let's go by the formal definition. And this is definition by, in, by a gentleman, in, an American sociologist. And he basically defines legitimacy as a generalized perception or assumption that the actions of an entity are a desirable, proper, appropriate, within some socially constructed system of norms, value, beliefs, and definitions. That's a whole mouthful. But basically he means that within a particular context, an activity, a person, an, an, a company, needs to be accepted. Because if not, that entity, activity, or, 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 or person will not succeed. And so the object of legitimacy is the entity has the legitimacy examined by you, by me. We all do this. We are both judge and jury here about different things. And we do so very, very Im implicitly. We don't think, stop and think about it very often, unless there is reason that we can't make a judgment, that we just do not know. Going back to Dolly, said, you know what? I don't know. I can see some advantages and I can see some disadvantages, but they kind of equal in weight. Now what do I do? If somebody asks me, is it allowed or is it not allowed? <coughs> and then we start thinking about what is our culture, what does, it f what does our religion say about this, what does our upbringing say about this, what do people in society, in our society, in our English society at this moment say about this? And then, we, then the conversation starts, and the conversation ultimately uh, will be picked up by the legislator and they will try to legalize it or not. So for everything, for every activity, for every individual, for every entity, yeah, there is something called the state of legitimacy. And the state of legitimacy is the legitimacy of that individual, of that activity, <coughs> at this very moment. Most of you that who came here this morning may not know me. And so you make a judgment where I'm legitimate to talk to you here about well, the fact that maybe oh, you employs me. So there must be something that I have that is worth uh, coming to listen to. Otherwise, why would you get up so early and sit in this room and listen to something, somebody talking about something that you really maybe didn't know all about? And so the state of legitimacy is very important. And we ask, we ask big questions for that. In the UK, the discussion that is going on, and we'll come back to that later, about fracking. And we need to make a decision as a society, do we want that or do we not want that? And at this moment, we are not quite able to make the decision yet as a society. Yeah, because it is prohibited and yet it is allowed, it is, it, there's a moratorium on it, yet some, somewhere it's allowed and somewhere it's not allowed. Why? Based on what? It's an interesting question to ask yourself. And a state of legitimacy is what we are at a given moment in time, at this moment. Is my legitimacy dropping because really you think what I'm saying doesn't make sense or is my, my legitimacy increasing because maybe you think, hmm, there is something there that we haven't really thought about. And so why is it important? <coughs> because if I go to a bank and I ask for funding for my organization, uh, this bank will see, am I legitimate? Is there certain things that I have that would make me a good investment? 
and that would allow me to receive the money from the bank. How risky am I as an investment? And so from, from a business perspective, this is important. This is how I attract good people. And good people want to work for good companies that pay well. And so I need, I, I need to have this. I need to be seen as desirable. Oh, you Open University needs to attract students. So it needs to legitimize itself as an, as an educational institution where you actually boost your career, where you learn something at a price that is appropriate and that is correct. Because a lack of um, legitimacy, a lack of good understanding of legitimacy, of what are the basis of, of how we are being judged, may, make us, may lead to wrong decisions. If we don't have a good view of why something is legitimate, if we really haven't really analyzed it, then the investment decision may not be that good. The hiring decision may not be that good. And it happens all the time. So let's look at that. And let's, let's then look around and, and, and make some states that we try to identify to, to, to handle this concept a little bit better. And so let's first take us as the evaluators around us. How do we see the world and how do we make sense of it? And then if you go to the literature, if you go to books and things, there's really nothing that helps you a lot, that you can hold on to. And that's what we're kind of trying to do with a piece of research that we've been <coughs> working on for the last well, couple of years now by now. Yeah, in which we try to wonder, okay, how can we deal with this, this fluffy concept of legitimacy? We have a good definition of what it is, but nothing to measure it by. There is no law that says this is right or wrong. And if you look at Dolly, there is no right and wrong. There is something in between. So what we did in this research is that we looked into, well, let's take this, this concept apart and let's see how we can try to capture, to, to measure that a little bit better than just, you know, is it or isn't it? Yeah, because ultimately, if I'm a, an organization that needs to do market research, I need to categorize the population and I need to see where is the, where is the, the, the mood in the organization. And with fracking, quite honestly, we don't know. We know that there's a very, very vocal opposition, <coughs> but there's also a very, very vocal uh, group of proponents. Where are we? The fact is that probably we are somewhere mostly in the middle that most people quite honestly do not know, and they don't, they, but they don't mind provided it's not in their back garden. Right? And so if we just look at some of these states, what we did here is we came up with, with five states in which an, 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 a population can find itself, in which an individual can find itself. Legitimacy is, is everything is fine. Uh, Everybody is, is, is ag agrees with the, with the activity and there's no opposition. Quite honestly, this is a bit of a hypothetical situation because there's always somebody who has issues with whatever you do, no matter what. Uh, but as, as a concept, it needs to be there. This is the full legitimacy. Uh, the, the, and the, this object of legitimacy, this, this thing that we are talking about, I will perceive as legitimate and everything is fine. And there's no opposition. The ideal situation, this is where we all want to be with our activities as professionals or even as a family member, uh, what makes me a good father, right? So that the, and ultimately the audience will say, and this comes from the video, I believe GMOs are great technology, not only to help global food security, but also to help the safety environment. This individual clearly has no issue with, with GMOs, and that's fine. This is the kind of people that we would have if we are a supplier of, of or a company that invests in GMOs. And then it's the other extreme, the illegitimacy, which again <coughs> is a bit of a hypothetical state because there's always somebody fine that you can find that is fine with the activity. But most people will say, uh, if we make some hypothetical distribution of, of the people in society, most people will say, really, we don't like this activity. It's legal, but we don't like it. Remember, we don't talk about illegality because that's just an, a matter of law, allowing it. Eh? This lady here, it does bother her that scientists are playing God with our food because they don't know what the long-term repercussions are. She said, we shouldn't do this. Just like people said, Dolly and cloning, we shouldn't go that direction. We do not know what we let ourselves into. We know it's allowed, and the, 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 there, is, there is a law about it, but really we shouldn't do it. But if you really start thinking about how easy it is to come up with examples in which you see an activity is illegitimate and yet legal, it's actually quite tricky to find of those. And you can come up with an example of this? It's tricky. It's really tricky. I had one here, the ban on legal highs. Legal highs are those drugs that, that kids and teens and, and some older, <laughs> older people take to have fun in the weekend. 
they are legal because there's no law that says they are against it. <coughs> really, would you, say, would you think they're legitimate? Would we have our kids playing around with those kinds of substances? In this case, the, the government can't legalize, they can't uh, ban them as such. Because it's like a moving target. But every moment, every t as soon as you find a mix and, 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 and recipe that, is, that you can actually define and you can ban it, they have figured out something else and to go around it. But this is here a product that is highly illegitimate and yet legal. It's a highly profitable business to be in. And then we have this, this, this part in the middle that we really do not know. And this is a difficult part to be in. Yeah, because here I haven't managed to convince the general audience that everything that we do is fine. And they're most, they, they, they're scrutinizing me. They're still in this process of making up their minds. And this is for us an important moment to be in because here is where people are looking for information. And if I have a controversial activity, I need to be aware of what drives people's decisions. I need to do the market research and what uh, does it take to actually convince uh, people to perceive that I'm legitimate. But then it's not always on this side. So there's other states that we can think of that are probably the most common ones. And those are interesting to think about. Yeah? We call this one conditional legitimacy. And conditional legitimacy really is your activity is fine provided that. And then the fine here is important, but the provided that, that's where it becomes important. Yeah, because provided what? What are the conditions that the particular activity would be perceived as legitimate, would be perceived as being correct in the eyes of the audience, or a particular individual. Uh, what do I need to do uh, to legitimize myself as an academic, as, as, as a father, <coughs> as, as, as a member of the British society? And as long as the conditions that I comply with are complied with, I will be perceived as legitimate. I had an example of that, this one. Again, going back to the GMO example, where this lady says, you know, GMO is fine as long as it's labeled clearly on the product so I can actually make an explicit decision uh, that I buy this product or not. And then I accept that there's some people that are opponents, put it on the, on the package so I can make up my mind. That's the condition. And like that, most of our businesses are like that. Uh, oh, you is a fantastic uh, institution, you can do fantastic courses provided that they stay within the range of, of, of prices that I can do, provided that they do not mix up with certain activities, provided that, provided that, provided that. What are these provisions? <coughs> and what is their ranking? As an organization, I need to start ranking them, I need to start sorting them and, and, and classifying those. And making an, an, a list of what is actually most important to deal with. And somehow, if you ask organizations, there is no explicit process of identifying these. We all know that there are issues, but <coughs> really what are the issues, the biggest issues that we need to deal with in order to get this most part of our relevant audience on our side. And for that we need to find what's our relevant audience also. As a GMOs, we have other examples. Uh, the bankers, or the banksters in this case. <laughs> banks, is an, is an banks are a necessary institution. We need banks, we can't do without banks. And we are fine giving them our money, provided that they do not start playing around with it. So we need to deal with that. Have binge drinking, it's good to be in an alcohol business, it's fine to, have, to be a beer brewer. But what do I need to do in order to stay on the right side of this public perception? I should not have, motivate teens to start drinking too much, I should not motivate binge drinking, I should not make the commercials in the, in, in, in the wrong areas. I need to be explicit about that because that is how I play around with public perception. And sometimes that's not even in my hands only. It's, it's, it's a sector that does that. When the, when the Volkswagen scandal happened, it was not just Volkswagen that had an issue. It was the entire car industry making diesel cars that got an issue. Just because Volkswagen did something that put it right in the spotlight. And so Volkswagen has issues because they did something illegal but the industry has lost legitimacy. The product that they were making was no longer perceived as so very legitimate as it was before. And it was before that diesel cars were perceived as highly legitimate. It was even almost better. That's why we changed all, or most of us changed to diesel cars rather than just normal petrol cars. And then there's the, op the opposite again. Yeah, we have legitimacy, we have illegitimacy, we have 
conditional legitimacy, so we need to have conditional illegitimacy again. And this is an interesting one to play with. Because the cases, the, and the cases are really not that frequent, when it happens, they really eh, put you in a reflective mood almost. What would I do? What would I think about this? As a conditional legitimacy is something that is in principle illegitimate, yet there are circumstances that it becomes somewhat more <coughs> legitimate. And then what? Eh, because that really shakes the standards of society. This really stakes your, uh, shakes your values then. And then, of course, you can, once you've got those five concepts, you can start playing around with them. And then you can start classifying people, society. And, and the most interesting thing, then that gives us then also a way of, let's now exp explain what controversy is all about. Because controversy really is a polarization of opinions. Hey, if I have these five states to, to, to think into, if, to, to, to classify individuals in, I can start hey, making statistical analysis out of that. And I can, this, this can happen. If you look at the US and you, look and you ask them about you know, whether, uh, whether or not it is allowed uh, to, to own a gun, uh, this is kind of what you will see. Well, actually, you will see this almost, right? <coughs> <laughs> I wasn't allowed to say it. Now, Brexit. <laughs> there? Yeah. Donald Trump. Yeah. Uh, you see it happening all the time. But how do you deal with that as a society? Yeah, because here you have a controversy, here you have yeah, heart against heart. A shock. And we need to deal with that, we need to make sense of that. And as an organization, if for whatever reason, hey, you will, uh, if your business is, is affected by this, you will have to choose. Every time that you choose to go with somebody who is in favor of you, hey, you, you motivate somebody against you, hey, to pick up arms and start fighting you. That's interesting, because how do you then deal with that? You can only deal with them if you, if you can somehow, first of all, identify that they are there and who they are. And then you need to understand them. You need to understand what triggers them. <coughs> you need to understand what drives them. What are the conditions or the basis on which they say, well, this activity, this activity is illegitimate. And how can I change this around? And then we have to start talking to marketings again. And you have to start talking about strategy. What is our strategy? Uh, to apply a particular marketing strategy to turn this around. And if anything, to bring it a little bit to this. Uh, this is just, society is, doesn't know. It's just all spread out. And this on itself, if you look at this part, this on itself is kind of a, a controversy, right? Because it's kind of equal number of people for or against, uh, with or without conditions. But we need to know these states. Ah, th this, is, this is an example that I took out. This is from gun ownership. Uh, after the shootings. Uh, this is one of the many shootings that happens in the States. And I just asked some people. People have died <coughs> and still society split. How do we solve this? Do we solve this by prohibiting guns? Or do we solve this by incentivizing gun ownership? Uh, let's bring guns to schools because if the shooter comes to school, at least we can kill him ourselves. What's the solution? And there are many of these kind of solutions that are fortunately less lethal, less deadly. Yeah, but how do you go around this? What is the solution that would work and that would not trigger yeah, those who are against you yeah, to feel stronger, to feel united? Okay, and I've got a few minutes left to turn the perspective around. And this is where, again, from a business perspective, it becomes interesting. What now? Because so far we've talked about we are the judge. Uh, we are making our minds up about whether a particular activity is allowed, is not allowed, is, is legitimate, is not legitimate, or it has conditions either way. But now, if you are the one under scrutiny, what now if I have an audience here that is judging me at the moment? Uh, is this a legitimate academic or not? Should he be there or should he not be there? Is he talking nonsense? Does he make sense? That's an interesting one. Because this is what you do, and this has moved a little bit. And because I need to know what you think about me. Because I need to have an, a strategy in place that either reaffirms my legitimacy, it disproves your opinion. And so if you are sitting here and think, well, this guy really doesn't make sense, I need to bring in evidence that really shows that what I say makes sense. I need to come up with the evidence. I need to show what I can do to boost my profile and to m make myself be seen more legitimate in the order. 
in the eyes of the audience. Or really, if you can't make up your mind, if you really sit here and say, you know what, it was interesting, but is this all that they do? I really don't know whether there's legitimacy in this. Different strategies eh, need to be implemented to, to, to achieve different goals. The problem with this is eh, that you will have to do sometimes simultaneous things. You have to do simultaneously carrying out a message that seems to be contradictory. How would you reconcile these things at the same time? As a, as a, as a communication strategy, assuming that your communication goes out at <coughs> most to the general audience. You have to say that it's fine, but, or, or, or you have to say that what percep uh, that the audience perceives is, is not fine. It's, it's what I do is actually good. 